Well, here is a piece of history, computer history that is. Actually, this is my very first computer that my parents bought, my brother and I, back when we were in high school, uh, late 80s. I'm thinking this was around 87. Uh, it could be 86. I have to do some checking on when this came out. But this was the affordable Commodore 64 Plus 4. Uh, yeah, this thing used the TV for its monitor. It was just basically the keyboard. Came with uh, word processing, spreadsheets, graphics, and data management. Um, yeah, this was up in their attic. They just happened to dig it up and uh, they figured they'd bring it to me just for fun. <laughs> Here's the specs of it. Power socket. Round end for the power cable. It's got a serial bus that uh, you can plug into a disk drive and a printer into its socket. Uh, cassette port for the Commodore cassette tape recorder that plugs in. An RS-232 port. Accessorizes such as uh, accessories such as the modem um, and the RS-232 adapter plug. Software port, Commodore Plus 4 software cartridges, and the fast disk drive plug in here. <laughs> Game ports, of course, for gamers back, you know, when Atari was big. Um, you can plug in uh, joysticks into these sockets and the video socket. This is where you plug in the cable that connects a monitor to your Commodore Plus 4. Then the on-off switch and reset button. It's got the RF jack. Wow. This is where you plug in one of your, uh, one of, let's see, where you plug one end of the thick black TV cable the RF cable that is, and then it's got the high-low switch like on the old Nintendos um, where you could switch between the TV and the Commodore Plus 4. Amazing! And uh, yeah, the only affordable computer with four leading software programs built in. <laughs> word processing! This handy-built word processor allows you to write letters Reports, student papers, and more without the additional, without any additional software. Computerized editing makes it easy to revise your text on the screen before printing anything on paper. You can save your documents on standard floppy diskettes to recall them for reprinting or updating. Best of all, the Plus 4 word processor is integrated with the built-in spreadsheet so you can move calculation sheets from the spreadsheet program into the word processor to include and, and written report. This is the first time word processing and spreadsheet capabilities have been integrated into a home computer. Wow! Then there's your spreadsheet. I tell you, I remember this thing on the old tube TVs, boy, the grainy, you know, vertical lines and stuff. Spreadsheet built in gives you the giant electronic spreadsheet which uh, automatically performs complicated calculations and projections at the touch of a key. <laughs> this powerful calculation tool is ideal for home business, uh, budgeting, sales projections, management decisions, loan mortgage charts, profit loss statements, income tax records, your, or you design your own system or design for your own use, I guess. Every time you change the, new, the number your plus four automatically recalculates the entire spreadsheet. Calculating numbers has never been so easy. Plus, it is integrated to Word or to work with your Word processor. <laughs> file Manager. The File Manager allows you to collect, store, organize, and retrieve information such as lists, inventories, personal files, business files, receipts, and more. Sorting information and Recognizing data is especially useful in creating form letters, labels, and reports. Best of all, the file manager lets you design your own applications without having uh, to program the computer or learn any complicated commands. Integrated to work with the word processor. And finally, the graphics. Your Plus 4 has built-in graphics capability, which is integrated with the spreadsheet so you can visually display and evaluate your calculations. The Plus 4 also has over a dozen new basic commands which make it easy for 
uh, make it easy to program your own high resolution graphics and color high resolution wow I remember that and save your creations on disk or tape plus the graphics make make it easy to draw circles boxes and complex shapes and images and combine them with text on screen and paint the images you create with a single command computer graphics have never been so easy <laughs> yeah I remember this you know my parents got it for us for school my dad wanted it for his work and it just never actually you know worked out um, let's see the Commodore 64 comes with complete with integrated word processing blah 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 so it's got more about the specs I was wanting to see like what exactly the specs were you know it just has software specs but I'm not seeing um, you know, it's an educational program for every age level, kinder concepts for four to six, sophisticated educational programming aids such as Pilot and Logo suitable for any age. The Plus Four can educate you and your family. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing much in the way of actual specifications on this, but, you know, enough of the rambling. Let's open up the old box, shall we? I mean, it's, it's complete. I mean, we my parents boxed this thing up, I think, back in the 80s, I, probably around the time I went in the Navy or before that because this didn't last for very long. It comes with the old, I guess that's the old RF cable, you know, for connecting up to the Commodore and the old tube TV. The manual, integrated software manual. And it's got some bugs and dust and stuff in there basically showing you what all it could do and how to do it. Command prompts. I mean, we're, this is, you know, before the DOS days, I do believe. Um, getting started. Uh, sample document, editing and printing. Customizing margins and advanced editing. More document formatting. Search replace, creating, inserting, deleted, deleting blocks. Uh, word processing, processing summary, keyboard and screen. I mean, it's just, you know. Basically, the whole entire manual here. Yeah, still in great shape. Like I said, it's just been up in the attic for years and years. Um, at, you know, it's got different uh, uh, arithmetic operations. The asterisk ABS, absolute value. Asterisk ATN, argitant in radians. Asterisk COS, or cosine in radians. Division, exponent, logarithm, maximum, minimum, multiply, sine and radian, subtraction. Yeah, that's what you had to type in at the time. Your asterisk, the TAN for tangent in radians. So, greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, not true. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've completely forgotten like how how to use this. And of course, you know, don't have a TV that it'll hook up to because we got rid of our old tube TVs years ago ourselves. Oh, important. No returns will be accepted without authorization. Call 201 575 4888. I'll bet you that number's not even valid anymore. And this is the spacer box, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be for accessories, but it doesn't sound like there's any accessory in it. Uh, I can't get it open. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yep, so we're... We got cardboard in our styrofoam. Nothing in it. So, yeah, it looks like we are missing the power adapter. Wow, that sucks. I'm going to check that out on the back. Let me get some more stuff out of the way here. Man. Memory expansion. There you go. How's that for a memory expansion slot? Looks like a back door for some sort of uh, car. Looks like a, use, a user port. Okay. Then there's your cassette port. Your uh, serial port. Let me get this styrofoam off here. Yeah, there's the power. That's that's unfortunate. The power power cable is missing, unless it's still at my parents' house. Let me get this one. What we got here? Video connection, and then there's your 
joystick one and two, which we don't have. I think they mostly got just the educational portion of this and uh, no joysticks on it. Let's see, Commodore plus four. Um, I don't see a date code, it just has serial number and all that. But uh, there's got to be. Uh, I think there's a manufacturing date code on here somewhere. Okay, there's a. Looks like a RF. Yeah, that's RF cable. That's where that goes. And then uh, high and low switch. Yeah, it looks like a high and low switch there. Huh, interesting. And on this side, this is a reset button and your power for on and off. Wow. But yeah, we don't have the power cable, so we couldn't even power this on if, if I wanted to. It's got that special adapter. But yeah, here's the actual Commodore 64 plus 4. I mean, that's, I, it's probably not a 64, but the 64 was out, and then they, they put out this plus 4, which is supposed to be more economical. You know, my parents back then, you know, they, um, they didn't get us anything. I mean, you know, I didn't have my first Atari for years. <laughs> I think I wound up having to buy it myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's in great condition. You know, F1 to F4 on one switch, F2 to F5 on one switch, F3 and F6 on one switch, and then there's the help at F7. That was it. It didn't go up to F12 or whatever the current keyboards are. Let's see, what is the current keyboard? Yeah, F12. So, yeah, and then your arrow button. You know, I think that's how we used to play video games with these little arrows. And uh, I can't remember what games we even played, if we even had, you know, if the, you know, we borrowed them from a friend or I don't know. Yeah, this thing's, this manual's falling apart. The productivity computer with software built in. Oh, here you go. It's an old manual. Disk drive, save $30. Retail, $199.95. Woo! Dot matrix printer, $149.95. This is a Commodore version, so yeah, these would all work with this Commodore Plus 4. And then there's your cassette, your data cassette is what it was called, for you know your programming that you would record on cassette tapes. Commodore 1531 data cassette, an external data cassette recorder and player offering low cost and high reliability for only 30 bucks. That's actually not bad <laughs> for this big bulky thing which we never had with ours. And then there's a TV. You can get your color monitor, which is basically the uh, size of a TV back then. Um, I don't even know how many inches. 13 inch. Wow. Looks like a big 13 inch. 40 columns, 25 lines, 1,000 characters per screen. Woo! What else we got? Here we go. This is, okay, there's the price of the Commodore Plus 4. $99.95. It was on sale. Like 50% off. So yeah, that's they actually paid a hundred bucks for this. Then there's all your bonus coupons for um, looks like games. Yeah, Pirate Adventure, Atomic Mission, uh, Strange Odyssey, and some other math and word problems and loans and investment and payroll and you know stuff that was extra. Um, you know, looking for a date. Anywhere on here when this stuff was made, professional services, diskette. It's so all these different diskettes that uh, they had available for this thing. Yeah, Super Savings Bonus Book. <laughs> but I know it was, you know, it was around 87. I, I've got to say it's around 87. I know I still had a year in high school, if I remember correctly. Your warranty card, which we never sent in. I wonder if it's still valid. Pfft, probably not. Um... Commodore warranty fill our now and oh fill our now and mail. I wonder who made that or didn't double check their lettering in the word processor. <laughs> yeah, Com Commodore computer 90 day. Oh, that's it. It was only a 90 day warranty. Wow, what a deal. So yeah, and this I think is a super saver accessory. It's another catalog. I still don't see any dates anywhere on here. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's in the manual. Um, 84. There we go, 1984. So my parents bought this 
probably earlier, maybe it was around the mid 80s then. I just don't remember us using it for very long. I know that. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't catching our attention, I know that. <laughs> we were into games, you know, Atari and uh, old Nintendo and whatever else was ba on back, in, back then. I think the, uh, you know, I know the Commodores were more suited for education and that's what our parents wanted us to, my brother and I to learn more was education and uh, yeah, we weren't, we weren't too much into that. <laughs> we were wanting to have fun. So yeah, there you go, just a open box Old school review of a Commodore Plus 4 um, computer. This, you know, again, from the mid 80s. This is this is what it was back in the day. Um, it's a shame that we don't have the power cord. If my parents, I'll have to ask them. Maybe they run across it, but see, they've moved. You know, since we had this thing, and it's quite possible it got thrown out. So, yeah. I wonder if it's even online any anywhere to find the. Uh, yeah, power cable for a Commodore Plus 4, but control panels and all that stuff. I mean, we yeah, there's like nothing. This is just the, egg, the just the basic thing. I don't even know if it's even worth anything on eBay. <laughs> but wow! So there you go, piece of history um, from my high school days. Because that's yeah, I was in high school around this time, and uh, wasn't helping us get an education. I know that so into the box it went. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this uh, open box review of uh, Commodore Plus 4. I'm going to box it back up and I guess put it in storage and uh, I don't know, figure out what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> if anything, probably nothing. So anyway, yeah. Uh, trying to think of anything else. Oh, one cable. That's it. So <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.